Hi and welcome to day number one, that's one, zero, of Vegan 30 Days. Yes, I'm back with my next challenge. You can see I lost 40, 15 pounds in my last 30 day challenge where I went gluten free and dairy free. Now this time, you know, I don't like a challenge which is easy. I like to have a challenge which is harder. And a lot of my holistic friends, especially the yoga teachers, um, have been telling me to go vegan. So for the next 30 days, I will be going vegan. And you will be able to see before your very eyes what happens. Um, now what I'm going to share with you, I've just been shopping to Asda, so I'm going to share with you what I've actually bought, okay? And I'm also going gluten-free as well as going vegan. Um, so these are the uh, gluten-free porridge oats, the Quaker ones, which I told you I was going to get. I've got some more 100% peanut butter. I've got some apple cider vinegar for salads and things like that. There's some unsweetened almond milk, tomatoes. This was from Aldi, I got this the other day and it's Book Wheat Pasta Organic. Um, and again, it's really nice to try these things. It's a little bit like the difference between sweet potato and normal potato. So buckwheat is definitely more digestible. Uh, hi Dawn, Rosie, you're right, I love meat. So this is why it's gonna be such a great challenge. Now, Asda didn't have any Swedes in, so I bought this already cut Swede and carrot, which I'm really looking forward to. And it was only 35p. Um, I love these macadamia nuts. They are quite expensive, but I have got those. When I was looking for the vegan products, I also found this vegetable pate, which I'm quite looking forward to trying. I'm gonna have this vegetable pate on. I've got some gluten-free rice cakes, wholemeal. They've got to be wholemeal. And then I've also got some gluten-free oat cakes, which I'm excited to try. Now I also bought some giant whole meal couscous. And when I was on a picnic the other day, um, my friend Bev, she bought a salad. Uh, Lucy, I'll be watching with interest, good luck. Yes, Lucy, it's gonna be so difficult. So when we went on our Come Dine with Jodie picnic, Bev bought some of this, which is basically warm salad. You can see it's a couscous and quinola warm salad. And basically, it's couscous and veg in a little packet. You bang it in the microwave and you've got your very own little hot salad. Um, Aldi also sell it. This is the Asda version, which has got the individual bags. Rosie, I might follow this with you. I'm not a massive meat eater anyway, but what else don't vegans eat? They don't eat eggs, they don't eat any dairy related products, any meat animal based products. Um, Yvonne, hey macadamia, <laughs> yeah, glad you like that. Hi Kay, welcome to the live video. Um, cucumber, spring onions, cauliflower, I'm gonna make a curried cauliflower, brown rice, I don't know whether I showed you that, mushrooms, raspberries, blueberries, apples, and passat, which is tomato. So I'm gonna make that famous cottage pie, but this time I'm going to make it without meat and just fill it with lots of vegetables, but of course, lots of tomato and the vegetarian stock cube. Joan, hi there, diet looks delicious. Well, I'm glad you think so. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Now, let me give you a word of warning, guys, about being vegetarian and vegan. The most important thing is you have to have your protein. Now this is no joke. If your body doesn't have protein, your hair will start to fall out. Your nails will go brittle. Your teeth will become weak. So it's really vital, especially for vegetarians and vegans, you get your protein. Now protein can come from broccoli. It can also come from these grains which we've talked about. So it's really important that you are eating a balanced diet. Uh, Rosie, oh, I reckon I can do it. I want to do the gluten-free too. I'm sure I am intolerant to gluten. It makes you so poorly, yes. The only way to do it, guys, is to stop gluten for a few days and see how you feel. For me, you know, it's changed the shape of my body 
which I've never seen before. Even when I went from 31 stones to 12 stones, still my tummy was not as thin or my midsection didn't go as thin as it did now. So it really is a life changer, this gluten-free. Um, what I would like to do eventually is to reintroduce dairy into my life um, and keep the gluten out, see how I feel, then switch it around, put gluten in and then take dairy out and find out what my body really doesn't like. And remember, it doesn't matter, maybe you're not intolerant to something but your body just doesn't like it or, or doesn't bloat or it makes you bloated. Yvonne, are you doing any other events at Elveston Castle? Couldn't join the recent event. Yes, Yvonne, starting this Saturday, 10 a.m. For details, go to jodybunting.com. Rosie, I feel great when I don't have it. I look pregnant. I even have one slice of bread. It's true. One slice of bread. It's got yeast in. It's got wheat in. It's got gluten in. The three worst things for most women. So really, cut out bread. It's vital. But then get rid of gluten and see how you feel. I promise you, you'll feel amazing. Um, lastly, I will send out a little plan, guys. Um, if you're on my mailing list at jodybunting.com, I will be sending the plan out in about half an hour. Um, of course, as you know, I've been eating a lot of protein supplements as well, so I've been having protein smoothies, which are packed full of fruit, and it's also got vitamins and mineral, and the, importantly, the protein and the fiber inside the shake as well. Um, so if you'd like more details, join my mailing list at jodybunting.com, and I will be sending it out in about half an hour. If you're watching on replay, I will resend it out on Sunday. Do it, Vicky. Do it, Rosie. Great, guys. Join me. Um, if you want to do it with me, just send me a message, guys, and I'm happy to support you. And I'll make a private little Facebook group so we can support each other. Uh, Maureen, Jody, did you not go mad on your day off? Well, Maureen, my mum was busy, so I didn't end up going to, Ma to Morrison's. But what I did do, I had um, four scrambled eggs on two wholemeal toast. And I had, this was my cheat day yesterday, I had one day off. And then I had, um, in the evening, I had a Chinese, but I only had a vegetable curry, so it wasn't really that meaty or anything bad. Uh, Chantel, wow, this is so interesting. My mouth is already watering, love, as I am not fond of meat. Great, Chantel. Uh, Yvonne, getting my bonnet done, grr, Rosie, I'm the same. By the way, Love Island on. Oh my God, Samira's left. Yes, Samira's left Love Island. Shock, horror. I'm going to turn it on now, guys. So I'm going to go for now, but I will see you again very soon. You can see I've got a great new look because tomorrow I've got a life-changing interview. Wow. So I'll have some news for you very soon, guys. Bye for now. Bye.